partial fractions is the topic of the day. Now we have discussed about fractions in various chapters. Like if I have the fractions like 1 by 2 and say 1 by 3, then what do we mean by partial fractions? In general, we have its own definition. But before we discuss about partial fractions, let introduce the concept of numbers and understand partial fractions through those example problems. Now, as I see, these are all called the fractions because they are expressed in numerator by denominator form. And then partial fractions also deals similarly in this manner, including the polynomials. That is, if I have a polynomial f of x divided by a polynomial g of x such that g of x is not equal to 0, then I say this is a fraction expressed for the two polynomials where the numerator polynomial is f of x and the denominator polynomial is g of x. Now, the definition of partial fractions comes into existence here in the way that partial, the word partial is nothing but splitting of the fraction. So, if I can split this fraction, that is nothing but the partial fraction. So, in order to obtain the partial fraction of this, I split this fraction using various properties. And the various properties I use in splitting the fractions, the different types of partial fractions expressed in polynomials is what we're going to study in this topic. So different fractions have different methods of splitting the rules which we are going to study in partial fractions. So basically partial fractions is nothing but splitting of, of a fraction gives us the partial fraction of the given fraction. So we define in general, the splitting of a fraction as the partial fraction, that is, the, the, the outcome of after splitting the fraction is nothing but the partial fraction of the given fraction. Say, for example, if I have the numbers 4 plus 6 by 2, or I have this and I want to split this fraction, then I just write this as 4 by 2 plus 6 by 2. That means I split this fraction independently by taking the help of the denominator which is 2. Therefore this can be written as 4 by 2 plus 6 by 2 which on simplification gives 2 1s, 2 2s, 2 1s, 2 3s which is nothing but 2 plus 3 which is 5. Therefore 4 plus 6 by 2 is simplified into the form to give the value 5. So this is how Though it is for the numbers, we try to use the similar methods of splitting the fractions for the polynomial divided by another polynomial where we split and hence we get the partial fraction with various fractions obtaining various partial fractions. Now that we have discussed about the introduction of partial fractions and its definition, let's introduce the topic types of fractions. So before we understand the splitting of a fraction into the various different terms, we need to understand the various possible fractions which we have in the branch of mathematics. Therefore, in the types of, types of fractions, the first fractions which we are going to deal with is called rational fraction. So the first type of fraction which we are going to deal is called the rational fraction and let's see how the definition says. So rational fraction is a fraction which can be expressed in the form f of x by g of x where f of x and g of x are polynomials such that g of x is a non-zero polynomial. So this kind of expressing a fraction where the numerator and denominator are polynomials is called a rational fraction. Is how we define the rational fraction. So for example, if I take
1 minus 2x by x squared plus 2x plus 4. This is a partial fraction because my numerator is a polynomial and my denominator also is a polynomial. This is also a polynomial because this is a constant polynomial and this is a polynomial of degree 2 and therefore this also is an example of a rational fraction. Now this is also a rational fraction but it is purely a rational number but I can call this as a rational fraction because it satisfies that it's a constant polynomial divided by a constant polynomial. And it is because the numerator is a polynomial of degree 9 and the denominator is a constant polynomial. So these two are rational and then if I have 4x minus 1 by 0x squared minus 0x plus 0. Now the reason being that this is not a rational fraction because if I have this denominator I have that when I simplify this, this is clearly 0 times 0 times 0. When I simplify, I get 0, where the denominator is g of x equal to 0, which contradicts the definition which says that for rational fraction, g of x or the denominator polynomial must be non-zero polynomial. And hence, this cannot be a rational function. It's how we understand the rational functions and its properties. Now, it is very important to note that here, in this case, a rational fraction is also called a polynomial fraction. So, a rational fraction is also called a polynomial polynomial fraction or simply I call this as a fraction is how I understand the note. The other name for rational fraction is a polynomial fraction or simply a fraction. Now the second type of fraction which we are going to deal is the proper fraction. So that we have discussed about the rational fraction. Now we are going to discuss on the proper fraction in mathematics. Now what is a proper fraction? How do we define that is the biggest question here. So when I take a polynomial in the form f of x by g of x such that g of x is not equal to 0 then this kind of a polynomial is called a proper fraction is if degree of f of x is less than degree of the function g of x. Now this is the property which defines the condition for a rational fraction reducing to a proper fraction. So the strict condition out here for a proper fraction is that the fraction with numerator by denominator should be in such a case where the degree of the numerator is less than always degree of the denominator. So that is how we understand the proper fraction. Say for example, say for example, I have 2x plus 1 by 3x square minus 4x plus 2. Now in this case, my f of x is the numerator this and my g of x is the denominator which is the whole polynomial this. Now my degree of f of x which is nothing but degree of 2x plus 1 is nothing but 1 because we all know that degree of this function is 1. And secondly my degree of 
g of x that is the denominator function is 3x square minus 4x plus 2 which is nothing but the highest degree is 2. Now clearly I see that in this case my degree of f of x which is 1 is less than degree of g of x which is 2 because 1 is less than 2. Therefore the given polynomial 2x plus 1 by 3x squared minus 4x plus 2 is a proper fraction is a proper fraction is how we understand the proper fractions in the branch of mathematics.